identifying arithmetic sequences and finding the common difference. For each sequence, determine whether it appears to be arithmetic. If it does, find the common difference. So if we look at our first pattern or sequence here, <clears throat> remember for it to be an arithmetic sequence, the difference from one term to the next term is always the same. It's a constant, whether you're adding the same number every time to get to the next term or subtracting the same number every time to get to the next term. Um, to be arithmetic, you have to be adding or subtracting the same thing every time. If we're adding, our common difference or our D value will be positive, or if we're subtracting, it'll be negative. So if I look here, to get from negative 7 to negative 4, to get from one term or the first term to the second term, I added 3. So then let's keep testing and see if this add 3 pattern continues. So to get from negative 4 to negative 1, again, add 3. From negative 1 to positive 2, again, I added 3 to get from one term to the next term. So since I'm adding or subtracting the same number every time, this sequence is arithmetic and my common difference, or D is equal to positive 3, because I'm adding 3 every time. So let's look at this one. To get from 16 to 19, I would have to add 3. To get from 19 to 22, again, add 3. To get from 22 to 25, again, add 3. So, uh, in a similar fashion, right, to our previous sequence, to get from one term to the next term, we're following this constant pattern of adding 3. So this one, also arithmetic, and again, our common difference is 3. A third example here, to get from negative 2 to negative 8, I am subtracting 6. Um, or adding negative 6. To get from negative 8 to negative 32, I would have to subtract... 24. Well, I can stop right here because these numbers are not the same. I'm not subtracting the same amount every single time to get from one term to the next term. So this one would be not arithmetic. 